Welcome everyone to another session of Amazing World of Science and I am your science teacher. Today uh, we are going to learn NCRT class 11 chemistry part 1 line to line because many uh, students are requesting that they want to uh, just have a knowledge of basic concepts of chemistry and uh, other topics straight out of the textbook. So uh, I just thought to uh, you know go through some uh, important chapters for class 11 in CRT chemistry. So the first unit as you know is some basic concepts of chemistry. See it's a very important lesson. Uh, so most importantly you have to know the basic concepts of chemistry that is the first chapter of class 11. So only if you have a thorough knowledge of this topic you will be finding and uh, the remaining uh, units of this yeah, extremely easy. So let us first see the main objectives or the importance of studying this unit. What all you have to learn, what all you will know once you finish this unit. So firstly, uh, we can appreciate the contribution of India. See, chemistry means, you know, in different spheres of life, uh, the development of chemistry is very important. And also it is uh, the main thing which explains the characteristics of three states of matter as you know solid liquid and gas the behavior and all that and also how do you classify substances you know in nature you come across so many substances around you so how do you classify that into elements compounds and mixtures then how do you use scientific notations and uh, significant figures and all rounding off and things uh, for easy calculations and all that then how do you uh, differentiate between precision and accuracy then what are SI basic units, how do you convert physical quantities from one system of units, you know SI system, CGS system, MK, so many system, MKS system, so how do you convert these systems to one another. Then uh, different laws of chemical combination are there, these are all explained uh, in this uh, basic chemistry. Then what is meant by significant, uh, what is the importance of atomic mass? What is meant by average atomic mass, you know, molecular mass, formula mass, all these things. Then what do you mean by mole and molar mass? This is very important because so many sums and um, you know applications based on this will come for the exams. Then how do you calculate the mass percent of uh, elements? You know, if you take a compound uh, or a substance like see example water, what are the uh, elements in water, hydrogen and oxygen. So what ratio uh, or what mass percent? elements are present in it then what is meant by empirical molecular formula then how do you perform stoichiometric calculations all these are very very important topics you cannot you know skip any of these topics so firstly you know they start this lesson with a short introduction and saying that what is meant by science so you can view science as you know continuing you know human beings are always uh, continuously uh, taking efforts to describe and understand the nature so almost in previous classes you have learnt uh, about uh, so many substances that are present in nature then how does it change uh, you know what changes occur in daily life uh, for these substances just for example take the case of curd how does it uh, form how was curd formed simple you know uh, milk uh, you know which is uh, uh, formed from uh, uh, curd formation that is from milk and the formation of vinegar vinegar you use for kitchen purpose and all that that is made from sugar cane uh, juice if, if you keep it for a long time and then you get vinegar then uh, rusting of iron you, if you keep some iron articles outside in presence of air due to the action of moisture or water vapor on this iron articles it becomes rust you have seen the brown flakes formed outside the iron objects even gates made of iron and all that these are all changes uh, which you come across in your day to day life so for convenience sake we can divide uh, this into different uh, categories like chemistry physics biology geology and all that so the branch of science that uh, studies the preparation property structure reactions of material substance and all we call it chemistry so next important topic is the development of chemistry. Now chemistry as what we understand it today, it's not a very old discipline because 
chemistry was not studied for its own sake it came up because you know human beings uh, were researching on so many interesting things mainly two interesting things are very important uh, uh, why humans or uh, mankind uh, uh, kept on searching uh, for uh, rather in nature and one is philosophical stone which is called as paras what is meant by philosophical uh, stone now the human beings in olden period they thought that uh, now all the basic metals like iron and copper can be turned into gold okay that was their belief then second one is elixir of life you know it grants immortality always become be immortal uh, immortal in life okay so these two things uh, were really interesting for people in those period of time and mainly people in ancient india they knew many scientific phenomena or experiments or happenings uh, very much behind the time uh, before the modern science itself came into existence so this knowledge they applied in different uh, stages of life like uh, chemistry developed mainly in the form of alchemy so what is meant by alchemy that is uh, you take something ordinary and change it into extraordinary see uh, they thought that you know uh, iron can be changed into gold like that what, that is what we call as alchemy and chemistry developed mainly in the form of alchemy then lacto chemistry and all that in the year 1300 to 1600 in modern chemistry actually came into shape in 18th century in europe and um, after many century of uh, alchemical traditions which were introduced in europe by arabs okay now Uh, next thing we can uh, see that uh, especially in the chinese and indian culture they had their own traditions in alchemy that is the knowledge of uh, chemical process techniques and all had been very much existent in those days so in ancient india chemistry was what we call as rasayan shastra or rasatantra ras kriya ras vaidya and all that so in those period itself you know metallurgy what is metallurgy it is a uh, in learning in detail regarding the metals okay medicine how do you manufacture cosmetics what are cosmetics you know makeup things and all those uh, powder lipstick those things and all that and then glass dyes all okay and the excavations at mohenjodaro you might have learned that in uh, your social studies in sindh and harappa in punjab what is meant by excavation digging and finding of uh, olden uh, articles things and uh, regarding learning Uh, regarding the people uh, who lived in those period and all that and that is very old so archaeological finding shows that baked bricks were used in construction work just imagine how interesting it would have been and uh, it shows the mass production of pottery and uh, which is regarded as the earliest chemical process you know how to make pottery from mud and all that by heating process and all materials were mixed molded and heated by using fire yeah they they could be shaped into molding means Uh, to make it into different shapes okay then uh, the remains of these pottery they have been found in mohenjodaro and gypsum cement they were used in construction work what does gypsum contain it has lime sand and little bit of calcium carbonate and then harappans made uh, fallens uh, fanes that is a sort of glass uh, used in ornaments see they melted and forged so many objects from metals like lead silver gold copper and all that then they improved the hardness of copper uh, by using tin and arsenic so many glass objects were found in maski in south india say as long as uh, 1900 bce hastinpur taksila in north india then glass and glazes were colored by putting so many coloring agents you might have seen green the glasses in different colors like green red yellow blue and all that then copper metallurgy that is in india dating back to Uh, chalcolithic culture in the subcontinent so many evidences are there to support uh, that uh, the technologies of extraction of copper and iron were developed see all these are coming in your later chapters uh, in chemistry so it's better you know what is it all about then rigveda see it says that the tanning of leather dyeing of cotton were all practiced those days then the golden glows of black uh, polished ware of northern india it could not be replicated means it could not be made again because the technique is still a mystery for the scientists and this shows that the mastery with which the kiln kiln means a big uh, you know vessel like thing which is heated to make so many uh, you know metals or uh, substances are heated in it and uh, 
Kautilya's Artha Shastra, it says about the production of salt from sea. Okay, so we will continue, uh, you know, I will be go moving only very slow through NCRT portions because uh, around 10 minutes uh, duration class only I will be having for one session. You take your time and revise it well and we will be covering all the chapters slowly and uh, this will be really useful for those who are preparing for your competitive e exams as well. Okay, do share, like and uh, subscribe to our channel Amazing World of uh, Science. We will be coming uh, with more uh, portions from all the classes like 9, 10, 11, 12 because uh, we are getting requests from so many students to do line by line in CRT uh, directly from the textbook for the benefit of all of you. So, thanks for watching.